In this video, I'm doing a test between two different hydroponic grow methods, one being just using an air stone versus the other being aeroponics. Now, the reason why I'm doing this test is because in a previous video, aeration versus non-aeration, or cracky versus DWC, I found that without growing anything in the containers at all, the aerated method was actually evaporating water about two to three times quicker than the non-aerated method, or the cracky method. And the reason why this is, is because when you're pumping air into a container, the air has to come out, and with that you're also carrying water vapor. So in theory, the aeroponic method, where you're just recycling the water that's in the container, not pumping anything in or out of it, it should evaporate a lot slower. So the containers I'm using here are the same containers you used in a previous video. So we're going to get these set up here, and then we'll see you back in just one moment. All right, so we're back. It is two weeks later now, and the results are pretty much exactly what I originally predicted, in that the airstone method evaporated the water three times faster than the aeroponic method. Uh, and more specifically, the airstone method evaporated three cups of water over two weeks, and the aeroponic method only evaporated one cup of water. Now, both of these methods uh, are kind of like a hybrid style of hydroponics, in that the airstone method I'm using here can be kind of called DWC or just putting an airstone in cracky method, uh, and the aeroponic method I'm doing here is kind of like a cracky style. Uh, we're allowing the water to kind of evaporate uh, and drop in the container, but you're still causing that same surface agitation as if you were using an air stone. Um, there are other types of aeroponic methods, which in some of them will be more like a drain fill method where you're spraying the nutrients and the water and everything on the, the roots themselves, and then the whole thing drains out. The reason why I don't like methods where you have drain and fill is because if you have a power outage and you're not using a battery backup, the problem can be that your pump fails your roots would just dry out and your plants would be done. Uh, so using kind of a hybrid method where you're not allowing the water level to drop too much and you have a nice buffer in case something does fail, the roots are still immersed in the water and the plants are able to grow. Um, and you don't have to worry about them dying. So let's say you go on a vacation for a week and you come back, everything's still going to be fine. Um, so this test basically kind of gave me an answer as to what kind of method I want to do from now on the airstone method is simple and it does work great, uh, but the aeroponic method, or I should say the aeroponic cracky hybrid style that I'm doing here, uh, evaporates the water so much slower in that you don't have to worry about the nutrients and the water chemistry kind of changing as that water level drops and the uh, nutrient level and the TDS increase in the water. So this style is going to be kind of the style I'm going to be using from now on for my larger grows and um, kind of getting away from using the air stone. Even though it's simple, it really doesn't take much more work to set up a, a simple hydroponics or air, aeroponic method kind of like this. Um, so I hope that kind of helps answer some questions for those of you out there who are trying to get into hydroponics or who are doing hydroponics on kind of like a baseline and kind of want more information on something else you can try out. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.